So in this video, we shall see the display of uh, routing, the uh, recipe of uh, production for a particular product. So the corresponding T code is CA03. So this is CA03. By default, you would uh, normally see the latest material, the latest finished product, which you looked for. So it is showing a latest product here. If I don't want to see this particular material, I will just remove them. And maybe I type another material DXTR one zero or if i don't have a material code i will just look for it so looking for the material i want the material uh, to be searched by material description so i need the description to be say uh, just to be a wheel so i want to see uh, the routing for a wheel or particular wheel so there are many master data of a material with the key term wheel so wheel so i search one of them again and Again, our routing is specific to a plant, so I uh, look for the plant DL00. Make sure that this group counter is blank because if you are accessing a routing T code uh, second time within the same session, this group counter might show you some number and that number might not be correct. It might not show the uh, right routing, so make sure that this is actually blank. So continue. And you can see there are three data, three line items in this particular routing. So this is the code of the material, this is the description of the material. So the, there are three steps to make up this particular product, which is the carbon composite uh, wheel. And the first step is material staging. The second stage is assembly components. And the third stage is move to storage. We can also see the relevant uh, plant, which is DL00. So all the, uh, all the uh, functions are actually uh, done on this particular plant, executed in this particular plant. This is the corresponding uh, uh, control key, and this is the corresponding work center. So work center, in which particular work center within a plant, this particular action has to be performed. And what is the base quantity? So the staging shall be done. The first uh, step is done for 50 bikes together. The assembly is to be done for every bike singly. And the third step, move to storage is to be done for the 50 bikes together again and this is we have we have the setup time machine time and labor time so the first step the labor time is five minutes so the second step for each bike the labor time is three minutes and for the third step the labor time is five minutes again so this is where uh, this is actually the place from where we also uh, actually get the labor cost direct labor cost as uh, cost associated with this particular uh, product the bill of material covers uh, or actually captures the direct material cost, whereas the routing captures the direct labor cost. So this is how uh, every routing can be viewed. So just try to view routing of some bike now. This is the routing of a wheel. So let's go back. And now we come to the main entry screen. So going back, there are more steps than coming. So you see the group counter now, we need to make it blank and now i'm looking for the routing of dxtr 100 so this is a bike so at dallas plant so i'm looking for the routing keeping the group counter blank and here i can see that it has uh, not three steps it has more steps so it has a total of 11 steps so the first step is uh, done at uh, assembly work center material staging and then by you can see that the first six steps uh, first, rather seven steps are done in the assembly work center. Then the eighth step is done in the inspection work center. And then the ninth, 10th, and 11 uh, steps are done in the packaging work center. And this is the base quantity. The first one for the first one is staging, the base quantity is 15. Then for every step, there is a base quantity is one. And for the last step, which is the packaging, again, the base quantity is move to storage, the base quantity is 15. And then we have the times, labor time, machine time, and setup time for each of the steps, which we can see from here. So uh, the system calculates the direct labor cost from these labor times. So that's it. Uh, this was about the routing. In the next video, we shall see uh, the next master data item in uh, uh, production plant.